Yeah, it was. We were um, talked to the group before the game about two parts to it, structure, uh, systems, um, you know, that type of stuff. And then the competitiveness, the speed, um, kind of the immeasurable stuff that, that you just have to bring every night and putting the two together. And I thought we did a good job of that. Yeah, they were, um, you know, again, that's the benefit and the, and the negative side of, of the uh, trip to Australia. Um, we didn't play guys right away, uh, didn't have to, chose not to, but as a result, they were anxious to play. They wanted to get back out there real quick. And, um, you know, and again, the other default mechanism because of the trip was the type of lineups we've put in the last couple of games versus this one. This was pretty close to our team. And, um, you know, so there's a little bit of an imbalance there, but um, Anaheim played real hard and made it made it hard on us. You look at Evan's line, did you see a line that looked a lot more connected than they did in those games in Melbourne now that they've gotten to the team? Yeah, I would say that um, Kevin is Kevin's Kevin. And um, he's dynamic, but it, it takes a little bit to learn how to play with him. He, he's explosive. He pulls pucks back. He looks for people in certain areas. I think that uh, PL and, and Arthur are further along in understanding how that happens. And the two of them are starting to mesh a little bit more. So practice time has been important. Um, you know, I keep saying that Dubois is asking the right questions, and he's, uh, he's inquisitive. Um, guys are helping him. So it's it was a good night for that line. Talking more about that line, Arthur Kelly specifically, getting a big opportunity playing with PL and Kevin. Talk about his game a little bit tonight, what coverage you had. Well, I, I think I I'd like I'd like to talk about Arthur prior to training camp because we asked him to do a lot of uh, a lot of things in, in the summer, uh, physicality, the uh, strengthening his engine so that he can uh, play there and play their consistency, stretch some, some shift lengths out and, and not hurt the team, but help the team uh, contribute to the game when, when it's not just about shooting it in the net. And I think we're, we've saw that or seen that, pardon me, in the last uh, three exhibition games. He's done his homework. Um, he should feel confident. He deserves to be confident right now. And uh, we want to see him continue that as the season rolls in. <laughs> yeah, not uh, not the stats or the score or anything. It's it's combining the as I mentioned the structure and the uh, the systems, the execution within them, uh, with all the other intangibles, the speed, the pace that we did it. Uh, we made mistakes tonight. We didn't cover on a pinch and got scored on. So there's some um, workable moments in the game now that we can use in practice and try and fix some things up. Um, special teams, uh, penalty kill did a good job. Power play got us a goal and uh, looked dangerous at the end, but a lot of passing and, and not a lot of substance, so we can fix that. But uh, there are things that this game – or there's a uh, – a needle that points us in the direction and in the right direction now for practice tomorrow and we'll get another chance on Thursday. You mentioned the PK first chance to take that test against someone that wasn't yourselves. Uh, do you see a group that's starting to kind of grasp what you want to do? Um, yeah, they, it's hard to practice special teams against each other because one, you don't want to shoot it. Uh, nobody wants to block a shot and nobody wants, and it changes the whole intensity or the complexion of of either side of the puck, power, power play or penalty kill. So it's good to be playing in these games and seeing um, situations that arise and how we handle them. And we did a pretty good job tonight. Joe, you've had a couple questions about Tempe's goal scoring, if he can kind of keep up those stats he's put up. You kept saying it's just about him playing his game. It almost seemed like he's found another level. Is there another gear for Adrian that he can find this year? Well, let's hope so. Um, you know, he's got he, he's got everything he needs to play uh, consistently from night to night. And he has two real good line mates that complement him well. Uh, he's played in every situation, power play, penalty kill. We trust him. Um, so he's got everything he needs. And um, we're going to support him and help him to, to get to another level. But 
he's pushed the envelope pretty good so far. Do we really need a shootout after a preseason game? Um, you know what? Yes, we do. The goalies need a little bit. Uh, a week from tomorrow, we're going to be in a shootout potentially. And if the goalies don't see it or feel it against the other team shooter, we can do it in practice all we want when there's no pressure or stress. Not that there is a lot here, uh, but it's valuable for them. Um, you're at our practice rink. By the time we skate on it for an hour, we have a better chance of skating it up with a bucket and dumping it in the net than, than going in a shootout. So this is about as good as it's going to get. I'm sorry. Yeah, we've gone three games now. And we we tried to use all the forwards. I think Lizzo's the Lizzo was up next. He was the remaining one, just to give everybody an opportunity to to go through it. Um, maybe there guy there's individuals that we don't think about that do have something in their in their bag of tricks. So um, that's another reason, probably, why we do it.